just arrived at what's meant to be one of the best night markets in Bangkok. We're going to take a whole look around the market and we're going to take you with us. Let's go and explore. is pretty busy. I personally find like the later you're here, the busier it gets. It very much is a night market. Like it opens here at 11 or 11.30 a.m. But the later you get, the more crazy, the more packed it gets. But you can already tell from us walking around here, sometimes it gets a little bit hard to squeeze in between the crowds. It's just crazy, but such a good vibe. The most famous dish you'll find here at Jod Fairs is called Lang Sa. It literally translates to spicy pork mountain. As you can see, right behind me, it's being served up dish after dish. I think mountain only just begins to cover it. They're seriously huge. You can see these things are absolutely massive. You even need gloves just to eat them. It's crazy. I'm so excited to have found these for sale. They're one of my absolute favorite Thai desserts. I think they're called babin, and it's made of like desiccated coconut and it's all fried up so it's nice and hot and gooey and super coconutty. I'm gonna get some right now. So this dish costs 60 baht, which is about $1 US 60. Wow! And they've even chopped it all up so it's easy to eat. This seriously looks so delicious and it's so warm, you can tell it's straight off the grill. Okay, let's try it. These ones look absolutely perfect. The outside is really crispy, it looks really soft on the inside, and they're so warm, you can tell they're freshly cooked. Wow, that is so good. It's absolutely loaded with coconut, and the outside is so crispy. The inside just kind of melts on your tongue. Like, honestly, this whole thing is so delicious. I can't believe it was only 60 baht. It's so good. This is literally my favorite snack of all time. These are called Kanon Papai Doi, and they're literally just made out of coconut and pandan leaves. They're best when they're really hot and gooey, but cold, they're really good as well. I'm gonna get some now and try them. So a whole box of these only costs 50 baht. It's pretty good. They're really, really hot. I think these are gonna be so good. These ones are freshly cooked. They're really hot and crispy on the outside, and I think they're nice and soft on the inside. I'm gonna take a bite and try it. It totally melts in your mouth. It's so delicious. Don't always see these for sale, so I definitely recommend you pick them up wherever you see them. They're so good. Mm. Just down the very end of the market is a whole live performance area. People have just gathered bean bags, there are loads of chairs, and everyone just sits around chilling to music. It's a really good way to relax, and it's also a nice place to just sit down and eat your food, which is what some of the people here are doing. Another thing I love about Jod Fairs is it's really easy to get to. The closest MRT stop is called Pra Ram 9, and it's literally right outside the entire market. That's why you'll find a lot of locals here as well. It's not such a touristy place, it's just really nice, really chill, and you meet a lot of Thai people. It's really cool. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to try one of these for absolutely ages. I always hear this is where you can find the juiciest smoothies in Bangkok, and let's try it and see what it's like. Mm. Wow, that is so good. It's so sweet. I got watermelon flavor and it was really cute. The woman even had matching watermelon nails. But this is absolutely delicious. So sweet, so tasty, and so refreshing. Especially for a hot place like Bangkok. Mm. This place is amazing for like the freshest seafood. You can see it in the tanks behind me. I think you can choose out exactly what you want and it looks like it's great quality. I mean, everyone around me is really excited about it. You can find so many different types of seafood here. We've noticed there's a real squid theme going on in particular. Like there's loads of fresh squid everywhere. And we just noticed these tiny, tiny little things. I don't know if they're fish or shrimp, but it looks like they get fried up into like a big patty. And this part of the market is less about the food and it's more about the clothes. Seriously, you can find everything here for really good prices. You can find all kinds of cheap outfits. I'm gonna have a quick look around and see if I can find anything really nice and new to wear. There's loads of really cute clothes for sale here too. I really love all of these crochet tops. They're so cute and like super summery. I'm gonna see how much this one costs. It's only 200 baht, so I have to get the green one. It's just so cute. I'm so excited about this shop. It looks like it only sells pins, which is something I wear like almost every day. I'm gonna see what I can get. There's so many cute ones. Seriously, there's so many to choose from. I really love this one I found of a UFO. It's so cute. I'm gonna get this one. 
This was only 79 baht. I'm so pleased with it. It's really cute. One half of the market is dedicated to food. The other half is more clothes based, but there's also some other stuff squeezed in between. You're gonna find amazing things to wear, but there's also nail salons and hairdressers in here as well. It's really cool. They have quite a good mix of clothes here. Like they've got more dressy stuff and they also have really casual things. It's really good. I feel like there's something for every occasion. And if you're wondering about men's clothes, they have lots of it here as well. At this shop right here, there's lots of different singlets and some shorts. And there's another shop just over that way that has lots of different shirts that you can choose. I'm in a really sweet mood tonight, so now I'm going to have some coconut ice cream. There are a few different options, but I decided to get some fresh mango on top. Oh, thank you so much. That's so cool. I even got a little fresh coconut water as a welcome drink. Oh, that's so refreshing. This looks so delicious and I love the way it's even served in a coconut shell. Gonna take a nice big scoop with everything. That is such a delicious tropical flavor. We've got the coconut and the mango mixed in together and a little crunch of like, I thought it was nuts at first, but I think it's actually burnt coconut. That is so good. Just so refreshing on such a nice hot evening. I really, really love this. I think this is my favorite from tonight. It's so good. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring this amazing night market with us. We're gonna go keep looking around John Fairs, so I'll catch you guys in the next one.